Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are currently planning on dropping in on Eve a little bit. But first, what we need to do here is we need to get our Gilly Eve fuel transit onto Gilly and mining. And that's going to require definitely a quick save. I have a feeling we might have some wacky physics issues with that docking, but let's find out here. So currently our mining module, we're on a good inclination for this, but our mining module is currently at a little bit of an awkward point in that it's on the dark side of Gilly right now. Let's go ahead and add a maneuver at the ascending node here and just match planes with this. Now we are going retrograde to be clear, but that's okay. We don't necessarily mind that. We'll just match planes like so. And we'll do that here in apparently one day. So let's go ahead and warp forward towards that. This is apparently also changing our actual circularization a bit, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm noting how quickly Gilly is rotating here, and that is definitely something to consider. Okay. Sounds good to me. So we're going to hop over to here. And we're just going to burn, we're going to do a normal burn here, I think, right? Or an anti-normal burn. It's an anti-normal burn. And we're just going to keep an eye on this descending node here, and we're going to burn very, very gently. Maybe a little more gent, or a little less gently than this. There we go. About another 10 degrees. Good enough. Okay, next we're going to bring it in to orbit retrograde, not target retrograde. So we want to bring it on over to here, and we're going to bring our periapsis down to, I don't know, maybe around 10-ish kilometers. Something along the lines of... This. Okay, now at this periapsis, we're going to go ahead and warp here. And we're going to bring in our apoapsis to a similar height. Just circularize. Hmm. We weren't pointing the correct direction. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just go ahead and hold here and circularize this a bit. Uh, close enough. Close enough. And then we are going to probably warp to around... I think we need to do an orbit here. I mean, we are going retrograde, but that's fine. Basically, as we're passing over this, I'd like to land in the light, but honestly, this isn't that dark. So maybe it's okay. I like how we've got a, like, tune shading outline here. I have no idea why that's a thing, but okay. <laughs> sure. That's fine. So we're going to go to target retrograde here, and I'd like to warp a little bit further. Yeah, just a little bit here. We're going to want to land in a similar sort of location. I'm going to go ahead and deploy our landing legs at this time. And we're going to orient and head in a little bit closer here. It'll be somewhere around here. This is only 18 meters per second, so let's just go ahead and very gently burn off some speed. Excellent. I do kind of... Well, actually, where is our landing marker? There we go. Now we see our landing marker, and we want to bring this right on back. I can't zoom in any further than this, sadly. To about there. Excellent. So now we'll go to surface retrograde. And we will simply warp in as far as we are allowed to. We'll go to radar altitude height. Yeah, we can no longer warp. 
We could physics warp, and we probably will. We can now see we're going to be landing a little ways away from our mining module, but that's not necessarily a terrible thing. Okay, let's begin a physics warp here. What does KER think about a suicide burn countdown? That's reasonable, I'd say. Or somewhat reasonable. Maybe burn a little earlier than that. We'll see. I mean, it's not fuel efficient, but we don't care. Necessarily. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the location of our marker a bit here. Bring it in a little bit closer to our rover. About there. We'll see how that goes. And let's go ahead and physics warp it on in. Four seconds per second. Our thrust to weight here is 30.92, so we have very good thrust to weight. Suicide burn length of currently 11 seconds. Impact time of about two and a half minutes, and a suicide burn countdown of a little under that. Fantastic. Okay, so a suicide burn in about a minute and a half. Make that about a minute. And we're going to come out of this warp momentarily. Coming out of the warp. Going to go on stability assist for right now. And we're going to burn this at about T minus one second on this. Or maybe like two. I'm actually starting to get antsy. I'm burning now. I know it's not the most efficient. But uh, I tend to get antsy. <laughs> okay, so let's bring this on down. I do want to be oriented around here. Excellent. I'm hoping our wide stance means that this will be solid. In terms of, mm, I don't know, actually. We might start to tip over here, even with our wide stance. Let's see. We may have to go, like, down here. Or maybe the SAS can hold us here, but... Like, there's basically no gravity. This is very steep here, though. I think we might want to relocate down here. If we start to tip over, then I will take us off again. All four legs will be on the ground momentarily. This one's coming off the ground. And we're still tipping. Okay. Let's take off. And we're going to try landing somewhere over there. See if that's a little flatter for us. And we can just drive the the rover on over. That's no big deal. So we're getting our retrograde flip going. And I'm going to go ahead and physics warp this. We can see here that we're not going to impact for another five minutes here, apparently. So that's quite a parabolic flight, actually. What's our apoapsis there? About 3,000 kilometers. Yeah, that's not actually that much. But over we go. We are approaching our apoapsis. We're about a minute from that. And I think that this will be much flatter over here. So this will be a good location for us. I hope. At least better than landing on this giant embankment. Okay, we have reached our apoapsis. We are beginning to descend. Fantastic. Gravity is so little on Gilly that we uh, basically are going to take forever to do any of these maneuvers. But that also means that we can get fuel on and off of Gilly extremely efficiently. Okay. 
Okay. So let's bring it on in here. I'm going to cut our time warp at this time. And we can see that we're about 100 meters away from the surface, moving at about 6.5 meters per second right now. We're going to need to bleed off this horizontal speed, and I think now is fine to do that. Okay, I want to continue to take off this horizontal speed. I don't care about taking off the vertical speed so much. We'll just do something like that, and make our way on over to retrograde. Fantastic. So we're about a minute from impact here. We're only 96 meters above the surface. That's how little gravity is. And let's see how flat this is. This is looking much, much more flat. So that's a fantastic sign. Are we even going to need to burn here? I feel like we don't. It's not as flat as I had hoped. Okay, we bounced a little bit. It's flatter. There's no doubt about that. Over here might be even flatter. -er. <laughs> That's definitely a word. Okay. We're still moving over the surface here. I'm going to try SAS off. And we're going to try a tip test here. Just to see if we have a wide enough stance to make this happen. And if not, we'll head over this way. Are we settling? I think we're settling. I like how this one just doesn't have doesn't have uh, a connection. Of course, this one didn't either. We're still settling in. Okay. It looks like this is reasonable. I'm not going to call it great. But we're going to switch over to this rover. And oh yeah, this Gigantor uh, was disabled. That's right. We're going to retract our solar panel and our radiator. We're going to retract all of this. Our surface drill. There we go. And we can see that we are full on liquid fuel and ore for right now. We definitely want to stop ISRU. There we go. And the question is, I'm going to quick save this because this could definitely get bad. The question is, how much power do we actually have here? I feel like I want to disable our rear and center wheels. They're going to be overkill. And we'll just do front wheel drive. We'll turn our brakes off. And I want to be on surface mode here. We're having a bit of tractional issues. We're going to turn the SAS on. So that we can do this. I want the SAS, however, to be on SAS only, which it is. That's good. Oh, hello. Is this SAS not on SAS only? And we're definitely having some traction control on issues on this wheel. Let's go ahead and crank up our traction control. Ah, I see what's going on. SAS off, please. There we go. Wheels are on the ground. And let's try to turn here. The wheels will come off the ground with the force of this. There's just so little gravity here. But we just need to head on over. Look at that. So little gravity. <laughs> Is it not fantastic? But the hill is enough here. We probably don't want to put any level of power here. We're going to have to avoid this rock. No doubt about that one. How much electricity do we currently have? Oh, we have a rendezvous maneuver around Gilly, apparently. Fantastic. I don't recall rendezvousing anything around Gilly, but I recall rendezvousing things on Gilly's surface. So that's fine. 
This is going to be a pretty lengthy journey, but let's just get this turn finished for right now. That is the big thing that we need to worry about. Just need to let these wheels settle. We're continuing to accelerate, and I'm not doing that. That's merely gravity. Okay, let's continue to turn. Wheels are off the ground. But we're starting to make our way in. And that is excellent. I want to aim for, like, the gap between these two rocks. We're about there. Yeah, I think here is good. Here is good. Can we stop turning? Thanks. Now we're kind of aiming for that rock. Let's bring it on over a little bit. I think this is good. Fantastic. Now... I would like to physics warp while we're doing this. Actually, I think we're aiming basically for that rock again. Let's move it over this way ever so slightly. Yes, this is better. I would like to physics warp and make this go a little faster, but I'm... We're continuing to drift on that turn. I would really, really be concerned about physics warping in this situation. Gravity is so very, very low. And this is, in fact, the exact issue that I'm thinking right now is going to be with our dropping on Eve. Because with Eve's atmosphere, we're going to have very little control on where we actually end up dropping. Oh, look at how much we've drifted here. We're continuing to drift. Can we not go this way, please? In fact, we may want to turn on SAS. I think our speed is getting a little out of control right now. SAS off. Exciting. Well, I guess we're heading this way now. Okay. It's actually easier to steer with yaw than it is with the steering, which is kind of funny. <laughs> ah! Okay. Time to break. Guys? Are we... Are we gonna break? SAS on. SAS on. Okay. Give me control here of this SAS. We need to break here. The break action group is on. And we don't appear to really be doing all that much braking, if I'm honest. Uh, we're slowing down a little bit, I suppose. Is the problem that these don't have brakes enabled? No, they do. We're just kind of sliding. Exciting. Okay, let's counteract that spin. And turn the brakes off. Excellent. It's wanting to pull over to this direction. So I'm just counteracting that with the SAS's rotation. Rather than trying to do it with steering. Since that... Eh, that kind of puts some... G-Force is on. Excellent. We could accelerate here. We definitely could. I'm going to quick save. Cannot quick save. Right. That would be a thing. Can we turn the brakes on? These brakes really don't seem to like to work, do they? There isn't an option here to turn the brakes off, I don't think. Unless it's to do with our traction control? Maybe. Okay. We do seem to be decelerating, so there is that. But not very quickly. There's no doubt about that one. 
Well, I was hoping to land a little closer, but ultimately the terrain made that impossible. Let's just go ahead and move it on over like so. And let's accelerate a bit. Bring it on in. We're working on accelerating here. Oh, hello. That's too much acceleration. Our back wheels are coming off the ground. <laughs> too much acceleration. That's kind of insane, by the way. But that's too much acceleration. <laughs> sure. Well, we could physics warp, but I hate it. I absolutely hate what's happening while we're physics warping. So we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Not necessarily ideal, but I mean, we are already over halfway, halfway there. We landed like a kilometer and a half away or a little over a kilometer away, something like that. So that's great. I'm very happy that we're basically there. Only about 500 meters out now, traveling at 1.7 meters per second. But this is what I'm concerned about on EVE, is that we land quite a long ways away from our target location because of the atmosphere. And then we have to do this for a large period of time. I guess we'll see how accurate that is. Let's just steer it on over this way. I keep forgetting that the yaw is inverted. Or rather, the... Uh, is that yaw? I can't remember. Uh, it's roll. Yeah, roll. I keep forgetting that the roll is inverted here. But we are... I mean, we got 100 meters since I last looked. We're moving at 2 meters per second, so... This really isn't too bad. We should probably activate our brakes pretty soon, though. Seeing as how long it was taking previously... Yeah, we probably should. So let's bring this on in. We're gonna get a little closer for sure. We're moving at about 2.1 meters per second here. And we're about 400 meters out now. So about 200 seconds until we get there. Although that is decreasing. Our horizontal speed is 2.2 meters per second. And we almost certainly want to put in brakes. You know, we probably could have moved with our twitches. In fact, we could have. We could have approximated it with our twitches and then landed over here. But, I mean, we could also drive across the surface. This this works too. I mean, at this point, we're basically there. So there's no real point in doing it that way. Which is a little unfortunate. That would have been the better way to do it. We are about 300 meters out right now. And moving in at 2.5 meters per second. So that's excellent. 2.6 I think once we're 100 meters out, we'll toggle our brake action group. Actually, maybe we should do that at 200 meters out, seeing how slowly we were decelerating before. If we collide like this, we could theoretically tip this thing over. So let's just see what we've got. Let's begin our braking now. We're definitely braking but not very quickly. We went from 2.8 to 2.7 basically immediately. The brake torque is definitely attempting to turn us, but the SAS is holding us in position. Looks like this thing jumped up at some point and is settling back in. It also looks like we're going to need to turn out over this direction. Hmm. We're still moving at 2.1 meters per second. These brakes 
are not breaking very much, are they? I'm going to try adding a reverse torque here. We're down to 1.8 meters per second. I'm trying to reverse this. Okay. We're going to try to, like, skid to a stop here. <laughs> and bring it back around. Like this. Ah, we've overshot. We have definitely overshot here. I'm going to enable the motor here. For all of these. We're going to try to make our way up this hill. This is not going well, is it? We're just kind of drifting down this hill. We've overshot. And the question is, what do we need to do to get up the hill? I'm going to turn the reaction wheel back to SAS only for right now. I'm noticing, oh, we're in the wrong mode here, aren't we? Yes, we are. That would help if we were in the correct mode. Okay, so let's just try to let this settle back in. The gravity is so low here. It is just absurd how low the gravity is. as evidenced by this. The SAS should be holding us relatively steady, but it doesn't appear to be. I'm going to turn it off for the time being. 0.7. Yeah, there's so much force here. In comparison. So, so much force. In these wheels. We need to get up this hill, though. Or bring the rocket down the hill, perhaps. That's another option, I suppose. Yeah. We just have that happening. <laughs> Every time we try to do this, it just lifts us off the ground. We're having trouble getting the traction we need. So what I'm going to do here is, in fact, this. We're going to head this direction. We need this SAS to be on. Pilot only. Actually, put it on normal. We've got a lot of speed here that I don't necessarily want. We need to tip it over this direction, towards the horizon. Okay. Let's eliminate this speed. And bring our landing point on over. Come along. We need to head over this way. To the horizon. Like that. That's pretty close. Now we need to head over this way. And just gently ease it in. There. We'll now flip over to retrograde. And we will physics warp. It's going to be a little bit until we get down there. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Oh, the physics warp caused that to fall over. That shouldn't have happened. That's not how the physics warp was supposed to work. Can we not? Like, seriously, can we not? Like, I want to SAS this back up. Back up, please. Back up. 
This is awkward. This is really awkward. We need to, we need some verticality here. I don't want to go this way, though. Okay. We're good. We're good. We got it under control. The physics warp caused some issues, to be sure. But let's go ahead and take it over this way, where hopefully it's a little flatter yet. Okay. I want it to come over... Not that way. Over this way. Come on. There we go. That's the way we want to go. Nope. I want to bring it back. Bring it on back. Why is it going that way? We're burning away from... Like, we're burning basically retrograde. Come on back, buddy. Come on back. Where is it? No, seriously. Where is it? Why is it over there? Come on back. We're basically burning prograde right now. Yeah, we're moving this way. I have no idea where it went. We don't want to move this way. Okay, let's just burn retrograde for right now. Kill our relative speed. And we'll try this again. Yes, I'm aware that this is happening. I want to bring it up to the horizon. And do something kind of like that. Okay. We'll flip retrograde and we'll sw switch over here. Let's see what this has got going on. Uh, one minute, eight seconds to suicide burn countdown and one minute, 18 seconds to suicide burn countdown. That's going to be interesting. We're definitely going to need to burn off this speed. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send this guy up higher. I just want to kill this vertical speed so we have more time here. Something like this. We'll put this suicide burn countdown up to, say, two minutes. And then we'll change this trajectory a little later on. Okay, good enough. We'll switch over here, flip over to retrograde. And we'll need to burn this off in just a moment. Right about... This went really off the rails. <laughs> right about now. We'll go ahead and burn it. Not target retrograde. Surface retrograde. What am I doing? Get over there. We've got time for this, so that's fine. Okay. Just bring this right on in. That's good. Okay. This landing should be fine now, in theory. Now, this is... Still a little bit on the uh, inclined side. But that's okay. SAS off. And we're switching. So, we at this point need to move our marker to be more like over there. So, let's point ourselves over this way. And let's get burning. I want to burn maybe a little bit more over here. And not not vertical. I don't want to be burning vertical. Can we stop this? Come on, SAS. You got this. It's not that heavy. There you go. That's more like it. Excellent. Okay, that's bringing it back pretty vertical here, which isn't exactly what I want, but this thing really likes to come back vertical for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, we'll do that. 
and then burn it a little bit like that. And then we'll go to surface retrograde. Okay, so I guess we can't physics warp this, so we'll just bring it on down right next to it. I was definitely planning on this to be a faster procedure, I'll be honest. I wasn't anticipating that this low of gravity would cause this big of issues. <laughs> so we've got about three minutes here on our suicide burn, and I'm going to quick save this. Oh, we're about to crash, allegedly. We aren't, but... It won't let me quick save for a physics warp. Sad. I guess we'll just have to wait it out. Or risk it, but I'd rather not risk it. We were super close to losing a solar array there. And it was kind of lucky that we didn't. Brakes on. Our brake power doesn't seem to be great. Is it I'm not sure that our brakes action group is actually working. Maybe it is. Yeah, I guess it is. But, uh, it's definitely exciting. I'd really, really love to physics warp this. But we know that we can't. So we'll just have to do it the slow way. Suicide burn in two minutes. And that's okay. We've got plenty of fuel on board. No problem here. That baguette is for this exact purpose. That and having some form of storage. Okay. Now we'll bring it right on in here. Very, very close. And I'd like to get it docked up this episode. That is kind of the goal. We'll have to quick save before we do that, of course. So down we go. About 1 minute 15 seconds to the suicide burn. That's great. We're getting close here. About 300 meters away from the rocket itself. Moving at about 3 meters per second, so we're not really in danger of destroying things. Yet. Man, the gravity is so low here. Gilly makes Minmus look like a joke in terms of its gravity strength. About 40 seconds here. Fantastic. We're about 200 meters out from our fuel hauler. About 30 seconds to our burn. 25. 20, 15, 10, 5 seconds, 5 and I'm beginning the burn. Okay, this is looking pretty decent. We'll hold it here. Flip up to vertical. I'd like to roll uphill a little bit, or roll to where we're not going uphill, rather. Roll like th this. Yes. Let's just get a little bit of thrust in here to cushion our landing. There. Okay, I'm quick saving it here. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and unleash the brakes. And I want to make sure that this is set to SAS only. And in we go. Very, very, very gently here. Actually, I want SAS off. For the time being. 
We're gonna go in just incredibly slowly for right now. And then we're going to just try to dock this up. But before we dock it, we're definitely making a quick save because there can be some weird docking physics. We coming off the ground on the rear wheels? Yes, we are. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to position over in between these two landing legs. We'll be there very, very shortly here. We'll be able to turn our brakes action group on. I think once we hit like 0.4 meters per second, we'll go ahead and do that. Which we will very shortly here. I'm going to turn it on now. And you can see here we are decelerating, just not very rapidly. Okay. So with that underway, we'll go ahead and re-accelerate a bit. Like so. Just speeding up that horizontal speed increase. Yeah, that takes our rear wheels off the ground, as expected. And I want to turn SAS back on at this time. And we are going to look to just spin this on around and turn the brakes on. Because we're basically in line right now. So we're just trying to spin on the spot. And bring it in about like this. We've overshot a little bit. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, we definitely overshot a bit. Let's go ahead and spin it back. We don't seem to be able to spin when we're not moving. Okay, that's intriguing. Maybe if we don't have the brakes on? Yeah, if we don't have the brakes on, it's fine. So let's go ahead and activate this hinge at the 90 degrees that we're expecting, except this is kind of backwards. Negative 90. That's what we're looking for. We'll set this as our target. Excellent. And we'll need to come in over this away. I'm hoping that docking forces will be able to do what we need. turning the brakes on. We're going to need to extend this just a little bit. I'm going to quick save. Okay. So we can see here that we're definitely a little off. We're going to try to pivot like so and make our way backwards a little bit. Overshooting slightly and bringing it back. There we go. How's our height looking? I think it's about correct. Okay, we'll pivot it back at this point. Whoa, docking force is going bonkers there. Docking force is going absolutely nuts. Okay, we docked it. We are in flight. SAS on. We just want stability right now. Let's go ahead and settle this on down. This has definitely taken longer than I planned. Those docking forces are very high for this. I do believe that we need to settle this guy right on down. Can we turn SAS off at this point? Force limit of like zero. Or like 10% actually. Okay. So that's maximum extension there. We should, however, still be able to reach this. Can we extend our thermal control system here? We should be able to. Yes. Fantastic. We'll extend this Gigantor as well. And we will begin our liquid fuel slash oxidizer, ISRU. Fantastic. And with that, we should see that this is slowly, extremely slowly, beginning to fill. 
And with that, it is well past time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to let this work while we bring in our proper mission. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell riggings. And I will see you all next time.